Hello there, Rider Flex Nation. Steve Urban here with more career advice and job interviewing tips for you. And as a quick reminder, if you enjoy our podcast, please remember to subscribe to our channel and like the episodes. And on today's podcast, how to quit your job. I read an interesting article the other day. I think it was titled something like uh, most Googled career question or something like that. Apparently, one of the primary questions people Google is, how do, how do I quit my job? What's the best way to quit my job? I had no idea that was a, a, a popular question uh, for Google. But anyway, I read the article, and there were two or three things in there that I thought were good tips. But I wanted to put my spin on it, give you my top 10 things to do when leaving your job. Okay, number one, first of all, don't tell anybody else about your job search or that you're interviewing, Okay. Just don't share that with anybody, no matter how much you trust them. Number two, be careful where you send your resume and who you send notes to on LinkedIn. You never know when it might leak back to somebody at work. Number three, get an offer in writing before you put in your notice. Okay, whoever the the new employer is going to be, make sure you get the offer in writing first. Number four, Tell your immediate supervisor that you're leaving first before anybody else, okay? And do it in person. Please don't leave a text or send them an email. Just do it in person, face-to-face, and you tell your immediate supervisor first. Number five, always give at least two weeks, right? Two weeks notice is standard, but try to, try to do more than that. I really encourage people to try to offer a three or four weeks notice, especially if you're in an executive position or something that takes a while to transition out, maybe even two months. It depends on what, what the job is, but try to give a really good notice. They may not even take you up on that. In fact, most companies won't. Once you give notice, they do kind of want you to move on uh, pretty quickly, but offer a good notice. Okay. Number six, when you, when you tell them you're leaving, don't go into negative reasons on why you're leaving. Don't say anything negative about the company, nothing negative about anybody that works there. If there is a, a certain reason why you want to leave, just don't go into it. Just don't do it. You want to, your mission really, and point number seven is your mission is to leave on the most positive note possible, right? You want everybody there to love you on your way out. And these are relationships and networking that you want to keep forever, right? You didn't work there for four years to build all these relationships just to blow them up on your way out the door, right? These are relationships you want to keep forever. Number eight, do your job after you give the notice, right? Don't just check out. Once you put in your notice, if you give them a three-week notice, do your job for the three weeks. Don't just check out and do nothing, okay? Number nine, Make sure you have everybody's contact info and that you're connected with everybody on LinkedIn from the office before you leave there, right? Again, these are relationships you've invested time with. You want to make sure you stay up with these people uh, later on in life. So make sure you're connected to everybody. And the last thing is, on your last day, just say thank you, right? Make sure you're saying thank you to your direct supervisor and maybe one level up or the founders or the president or the CEO. Just say, hey, thanks for the opportunity. Really appreciate you guys, what you did for me here over the last few years. I had a great time here, learned a ton. I got to move on to my next adventure. So say thank you, say goodbye, leave on a super positive note that last day. And there is your Ride Flex tip of the day. We truly hope you find our material helpful and entertaining. And in the spirit of giving back, RiderFlex donates half of all proceeds gained from this podcast to the Volunteers of America and their efforts to support veterans with employment services. While our podcast can be heard across most platforms, including iTunes, Google Play, YouTube, and SoundCloud, you can become a supporter of this podcast by visiting our show on the platform Anchor FM. That's anchor.fm slash RiderFlex. You can send us your questions or suggested topics for future episodes to the email address podcast at RiderFlex.com or drop us a voicemail at 888-964-5876, extension 710. Visit RiderFlex.com to learn more about us Thanks so much for listening, folks, and have a great day.